Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Econ Kate 88, and I'm in my hometown, Toledo, Ohio. And this video is about parks, taxes, and waking up voters. Recently, two city, two Toledo city council members proposed a tax levy. It's Saturday afternoon, by the way, about two o'clock. And these two city council members recently proposed a one mill, which equates to about three million per year theft, aka property tax, to further fund parks. As if we don't already have enough parks in Toledo. In fact, we have currently 146 parks. That's the high school practice field there. There's no one there either. There's one guy over there cutting the grass. He's probably a school or a parks employee. You can see here the three large ball diamonds, nobody. Playground, nobody. So these two city council members, they want to get a levy on the ballot to steal another $3 million per year for 10 years, which is $30 million total, to fund parks that are too many in number and very underutilized currently. This is what's known as Ravine Park 1. That parking lot there is for a swimming pool that has been closed for a few years. And the pool itself has fallen into decay. You can see the sign there, Ravine Park 1. This is Dearborn Avenue. And what I'd like is for people in Toledo who generally like to vote for these sorts of things, these uh, parks and what's good for the community, and it's, we're told it's going to lower crime, and of course none of that is really true. But that's what they'll use to sell the, sell the voters, or to, to sell the levy to voters. This is a site of a previous video that I made. This is where the East Toledo Junior High, a.k.a. Birmingham Elementary, was located. And it's now demolished. And I think that part of the reason, and this is what I want people in Toledo to ponder, if they are actually considering voting for this parks levy, which... I actually don't want people to vote for it, of course. But I think that the city of Toledo is working in tandem with the Toledo Public School Board and the Toledo Public Schools Administration to purchase these empty lots, kind of no man's land now, because what the school system doesn't really want the property, but they're going to have to maintain it. And that costs money, of course. Here's a, a new house that's empty. This is kind of off topic just for a second. 1558, I believe this is Colorado Street. Zip code 43605. And so anyway, I think that the city is going to purchase this empty land where these uh, at, at former school sites and because they don't have anything else to do with that property, they're going to turn that into parks as well and waste more money. This, where we are now, is known as Ravine Park 2. And you can see it's basically adjacent to Ravine Park 1. You've got a huge ball diamond complex here. I, I don't know. I guess they just don't use it anymore. It used to be adult softball leagues used to play here for years, many years. And it, I don't know. You're talking a lot of money to maintain this millions of dollars to build it years ago. And now it's sitting empty. And there are, I think, two, two large fields here all fenced in. And it's um, gravel, gravel fields. So that's definitely more expensive than just having a ball diamond with grass on it. So folks, do you think we need more parks in Toledo or we need more money to spend on parks? I don't think so. 
but Toledo City Council certainly thinks that that we need more parks here and they want to steal millions of dollars per year to build parks that really not that many people use anymore now we have metro parks in the Toledo area that's run by the county this area used to store equipment and things it's looks like it's pretty much vacant now there's a basketball court over here it's really not being used anymore it actually has rims too rims and uh, nets ravine park too and over there there's a guy uh, looks like he's walking his dog or the dog's just out roaming and there's no one at the basketball court people used to use that basketball court I know people that used to use it but that was a long time ago on the other side of that building that you see there there used to be tennis courts there and for some reason the city removed them I don't know if they just didn't want to pay to maintain them anymore once upon a time people used to use them but that was uh, again a long time ago this is a, a populated neighborhood as you can see a lot of kids in this neighborhood it's just people don't get out and utilize parks like they used to and it's not going to matter if the Toledo local government officials get another three million dollars of our money per year to spend at parks the government just cannot mandate for people to get out and, and enjoy parks this isn't gonna happen more people use the internet now people uh, cocoon more that's the term that was kind of a post 911 term that was coined beautiful day today a little bit on the warm side but still it's Saturday summertime people should be out utilizing these parks if they want to of course and I don't personally care whether they do or not but I do care that the Toledo City Council wants to steal another three million per year for ten years of our money now here is another park this is called this park is named Tribute Park this is a new facility that was built within the last few years and who knows how much money they wasted on that uh, sculpture or whatever you want to call that over there there is a sidewalk that kind of loops around there are benches so this this probably cost with all these sidewalks and asphalt probably hundreds of thousands of dollars knowing the government and it's a waste of course and they have to mow this six months a year and you can see the area is just kind of grown up I guess a good word for that is a uh, kind of a half-assed landscaping job there and this is front street that you see straight ahead going left to right there's the uh, I forgot what the name of that bridge is called but I just call it the 280 bridge and so I'm gonna do a series of these I had made a couple of them recently uh, earlier in June and I wound up removing them because I actually took a local city one of the 12 city council members and another community activist on a tour of several parks and he was just flabbergasted he had no idea we had so many parks in Toledo and hopefully he can get enough support behind failing this levy so I'm gonna go down front street here because if I can get down there quick enough there's another park there but I'm not sure I can get there way so if not I'm gonna cut the video short right at 10 minutes like I usually do but I will have more of these as a matter of fact I don't think I'm gonna make it down there so that's it for this one this is Econ Kate 88 signing off there's the marina district kind of where my YouTube career began this is Econ Kate 88 signing off from Toledo Ohio Please vote against the parks levy.